pounds. That's a lightweight limit, and he's got a reach of 65 inches. Remember, there's a shorter reach. Terrence Bud Crawford, one of the pound-for-pound pound best in the world, fighting out of Nebraska, USA, one of the greatest of all time. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. And this one has all of the... They ring the bell, and here we go. Cut clean by a left hook. Beautiful counter punch. Oh, that punch. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on heat. Seconds are so precious at this stage of the game. You've got to save that in the back because if you're ever hitting her, a clinch will save your life. You've got to hold on, clear your head, step off again, push them, hold them, lean them down. So when you're going to use those clinches, do it on the blind side of the referee, then let go. Punch, counter punch. At the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's got a match made in heaven. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. So he's going to shake off the cobweb. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. A perfect counter shot. This is the kind of fight you expect from two world-class elite middleweights. Fighter is all about finesse, using a lot of angles and lateral movement. Todd, this is what it's all about. Hit and don't get hit. Jab, move, pop, slip. Use your footwork. Drive your opponent crazy. A real good back and forth between these two fighters. They're trying to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Missing with the hook. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. When lands. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Every time they drop. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get. 
rings the bell to start the round. Last round complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Well done with that counter shot. Hand speed in these lighter divisions is always so impressive, but if you can sneak in a power shot every once in a while and sit down on a punch, that's where you separate yourself. Well done with that counter shot. There's a counter shot. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Way through the round and it's pretty much even Steven. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? How does he continue to hold the referee can take a point here? They need to be worried that the referee's not going to throw them out of the ring and disqualify them both. Look at him snapping that chin. Be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. It's a tactic to clinch him. When you clinch, you're taking someone out of their pace. You're making them feel uncomfortable. It's something they're not used to. But it's a fashion of clinch as well. You can be a dirty clincher. Pull them, pull the arm out of the shoulder, lean on them. But do Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Crawford in that last round. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't... They ring the bell and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. a lot of welterweights that can bring you one punch KO power, but these two can. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. and forth they go neither fighter willing to back down looks like a little change of strategy here trying to loosen up the flow a little bit they're so close so close how can you separate them it's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges well johnny has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Perfect counter shot. That one lands. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter shot. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? Nice 
punch. That's a smart move to clinch, but you can't do that too often. I don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight. One punch changes everything in this division. It's the heavyweights. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. There's a counter shot. Gonna loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. That's another scoring shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, heart for heart. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. How did they not see that uppercut coming? Oh, that punch. Gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want, because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated, because they can't work. Scores with the counter. And here he comes, finally waking up from that nap. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. Hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. God, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Perfect counter shot. like a little bit of a strategy change here loosening up the technique so he's going to drop his arms down here not sure that's the wisest decision correct me if i'm wrong but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed you've got to get your timing right Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. 
perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Good one. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up. I like it. Good punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. And there's the bell to start the round. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You can tell one of these fighters is starting to fade. What does he need to do to get back in this contest? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. There's nothing quite like a big heavyweight fight. Everything can change with one punch. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Just missing with the uppercut. Not a lot of defense here at all. That uppercut does not score. A very competitive round. With Corner's got the tower. Are they going to throw it in? Does he know he's hurting? Look at him. That back foot went. It completely shivered. Did you see that, Tom? Talk about Crawford. They ring the bell, and here we go. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Beautiful counter punch. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. That jab doesn't find a home. Looks like they're going to mix up their strategy a little bit here. Can they figure out the combination to this sink? Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Here we go with these two lightning quick lightweights. How do you deal with an aggressive fight? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you take off, play cool. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Well done with that counter shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. 
The building is going bananas. Will they see a huge upset here? Oh, I heard that never by Phillips. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. Talk about it. They ring the bell, and here we go. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Looks like a little change of strategy here. Try to loosen up the flow a little bit. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Oh my goodness, that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never going to give up. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And now, oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Oh, what? What a shot. What? Oh, my goodness. Free says he can continue, but how much more does he have left? Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in that once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. Then try and do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen. Will the referee stop it? His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts now. Get him up. And a good decision here to hold. Let's talk about Crawford and that. Hoping for an all-action slugfest. Couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. In this division, both fighters will constantly be on their toes trying to punch and counter punch. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. believe we're only halfway through the round. They threw the hook, it didn't land. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Nice punch. idea with the jab but does not land he threw the hook didn't land you know the scorecards are gonna be this could be the end and they're down would be wise here to take the full eight seconds what a shot was that a flash knockdown he, he, he should get up from that he's fresh enough he, he can get up from that does he want to Talk about Crawford in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round. For and there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff there.
Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you let the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. combination to this safe. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. This may do it. It's all coming to an end. Bambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. Oh, Machenko goes down. The referee's down him. Watch him close. Come on, make it. You can do it. Congratulations. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 